All right, the video I'm about to do today, guys, is for probably uh, beginner to intermediate photographers who are just getting started uh, kind of in that headshot space and uh, don't realize that you can actually shoot headshots almost anywhere. The deal I had today was the real estate agent that I was shooting didn't have a lot of time and wanted to do more uh, of the environmental type portraits or what I call social media headshots and uh, wanted just a few clean, all seam on seamless, all white uh, background shots as well. So what I decided to do was just take them out to a park. We'll do the uh, environmental portraits there and then use the parking garage as a studio. Uh, and what you'll see in this video is it's not very difficult to uh, create that studio like environment right there in the garage. Uh, unfortunately, the time of day we had to shoot was around 11 o'clock. So it wasn't the best time of day for environmental portraits either, but I'll show you how I got around that uh, later in the video. Um, and then I'll walk you through the process of how I set this studio up in the parking garage. So once we got the background lights set up, what I wanted to do was just dial in my settings for my aperture. I knew I wanted to shoot at f5.6 or f8. In this case, I chose f5.6. And then I knew my I didn't want my flash to be more than half power. So I set it to half power. And uh, from there, I started tweaking my settings accordingly. So kind of working backwards, getting the flash power to where I wanted it to be. Uh, and then getting my aperture where I wanted to be and then change the settings on the camera to get the desired result. So in this case, I just started raising my ISO until the background uh, turned white. And then a trick that I use, uh, at least in the past I used to use, I used to meter the front and back of the subject. If they meter the same, you wouldn't get that washed out look. But since no one uses a meter anymore, what you can do is just turn the subjects around, have them face the background, and you take a shot of them as they're facing the background. And if the shot is properly exposed and not overexposed, you won't get that washed out look when they uh, turn back around and face uh, you know, the main light. So uh, that's a nice little tip for you guys there. Um, so once we got that all set up and we got that meter correctly, we just added the main light, got that turn uh, dialed up uh, to where it needs to be and started shooting. And as you can see, straight out of camera, these you know, shots don't need much editing at all. Uh, there might be a little bit on the edge where it's not completely white, but I'll show you how to fix that uh, in Lightroom. All right, so over in Lightroom, I just wanted to show you what I did to finish these images. Uh, this is what I actually delivered to the client. If I go ahead and, and uh, reset this image for you guys, you'll see it's not that far off from what came out of the camera. All I did was pretty much a couple of uh, light modifications to the color and uh, got rid of some of these distracting elements in the background. Um, so what you'll notice if you zoom in, you'll see some of these, um, uh, since the wall is not completely white, you'll see some of the the spots that are on the wall. In fact, if we just take the exposure down on uh, uh, on this uh, particular image, you can see the wall is obviously not completely white and we'll have to just kind of clean up these little spots uh, in the photo. So what I'm gonna do is uh, to, to rectify that, what we wanna do is go to the brush tool there and you just wanna bump your exposure up, bump your highlights up, um, make sure your you know, flow's at 100%. Um, you wanna turn auto mask off. Uh, it, in fact, we'll just turn it on real quick just so you can see what happens. Um, as we're painting, you'll see that it's getting white everywhere except for those really dark spots. Um, I'll just turn this on and off so you can see that. So you can see it's getting white, but some of those spots don't go away. It just takes a little bit uh, extra time to do that. So you want to make sure you turn auto mask off. Uh, and then when you paint, uh, it just gets everything uh, very quickly. So you just go through and just you know, clean up all the... Uh, spots that are on the background and you've got yourself a studio right on location. The last thing I wanted to do was to show you the outdoor session that we took. Uh, this is uh, right outside of the parking garage and like I said before it wasn't the best time of day to do this kind of environmental portraits. The sun was very bright and uh, what I did was use the shadow from the tree to shield him from the sun. This allowed me to use my flash to control the light on him and uh, the background separately. So I can dial the background up and down and dial the light on him as I want it. So I'll just show you a few of those shots, just different variations with glasses, without glasses, um, so on and so forth. And uh, I'll show you a few images from another session that I did at the exact same location. It was just a better time of day. And you'll see how much better they look given the fact that we have more control of the lighting. Uh, also the fact that since we had uh, more shade to work with, uh, I was able to point the camera in different directions and not rely on just being in that uh, pocket of shadow uh, to keep him isolated from the sun. 
So if you guys have any questions about how I uh, did any of these photos or how I set up the uh, uh, garage studio, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.